So you're an RV newbie and you just got your first RV. You decide for your first trip you're going to be really ambitious and go boondocking with no hookups. You get out there and you realize that you have no water. So what do you do to get water into your freshwater tank? Stay with me and I'll show you a couple methods I have for doing this. You can go with a low-tech way, kind of like a caveman, and do like I did when I first started. You're out there trying to impress your wife with how much weight you can lift. One of these seven gallon jugs, I filled up and weighed it, it's almost 50 pounds. Needless to say, to hold this up to get this into your fresh water tank, your arms are going to get pretty tired. Obviously, it's not the best way to do it. There are other methods I found out later. A friend of mine introduced me to these water transfer pumps that will pump the water from your seven gallon jug, in my case, which I have, into your fresh water tank. Now the fresh water tank inlet is going to look something like this here. Now the trick is, how do you get the water from the jug that you have into the fresh water tank? You know, to be honest, I don't know if I saw it somewhere else, but I devised this little gadget here out of PVC pipe so it can be taken apart and it can travel with you easily when you go somewhere where you need to use this for boondocking and getting water from a jug into your freshwater tank. This puts my water jug a little bit higher than my tank so the water pump does not have to work near as hard to get the water out of the jug into the freshwater tank. Let me show you how this works. Now that you have this set, it's time to take the water pump and pump the water from your jug that you have here into your fresh water tank. Now the original water pump I got, I really like. This thing is, is great. It takes AAA batteries and you just set it inside the water jug and it's got a little clip here that clips onto your fresh water source which makes it really nice. You don't have to stand there, hold it or do whatever. It works great. But also recently, I found out that one of my favorite places to go for a lot of different supplies, tools and actually RV supplies, is Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight does carry this transfer pump right here. Now, it doesn't have something that'll clip onto your water inlet, and the hose is actually a lot shorter. So therefore, when I devise this little PVC rack, it works perfectly for that. Let me show you how this works. You're going to set the pump inside your water jug. Then you're just going to slip this into the water inlet. Now, it goes in far enough, it's not going to really be in any fear of slipping out of there. And once you get it to this point, all you do is turn on the pump. This process is not going to break any land speed records but it does work pretty quick and I guarantee your arms will thank you at the end of this. I kind of devised a couple ways that you can spend your time while you're waiting for your tank to fill up. When you get done with this process, you're going to have a little bit of water still in the jug. But there is a way with the funnel system that I used when I used to hold the jug up to put it in the freshwater tank. You can dump the rest of it into your water tank very easily. This is the first time that I've tried the Harbor Freight transfer pump. And it did a pretty good job. But just another thing to let you know, make sure the batteries are pretty new and fresh because the stronger the batteries are, the faster this is going to happen. Once you get the water into the tank and you finish camping, you may have a little bit or a full fresh water tank that you don't want to be driving down the road with it full and sloshing around. That can make your trailer, in my case, 
very unstable and cause it to sway back and forth. You don't want that while you're on the road. You want to be as safe as possible. So the next step of the equation is how do you drain the freshwater tank? Behind the freshwater inlet here and right about where the axle is in my trailer is a little valve that you open to empty the freshwater tank and drain it. I'll take you underneath and we'll show you on mine how that works. All right, as we go under the trailer, we're gonna get under there. Give me time, it takes me a while to do anything like this anymore. Under the trailer here, there's a couple valves. This valve right here is if you overfill your tank, water's gonna come out of here so as not to overflow into your trailer or any other area like that. This other valve that has the spigot on it is how you drain your freshwater tank. Now, I just put a little bit of water in mine, so there should be enough to show you this process. You just open up that valve and it'll just start draining. When it's all done, obviously, close it back up so you can fill it up the next time without it just draining right out and make yourself do a lot more labor. If this video brought you any value, please hit the like button and leave a comment below on how you fill up your freshwater tank. That pretty much wraps up this video. So I guess we'll see you on the next one.